All right, our lentil, lentil soup has cooked for a good 20 minutes. Now we're going to add the carrots. And I have processed the carrots in the uh, food processor to make it easier. And I'll put them in gently so we don't burn ourselves. This soup has complete protein. It is super. All right, then we're going to stir that up just a wee bit. Then we're going to add our potatoes. And what I did, I chopped them up by hand because I don't want them all coming apart. We don't want them to really, We don't want mashed potatoes in there. We want potatoes. All right, we're going to stir it up good. And then we're going to, going to cook it until the lentils are soft. And once the lentils are soft, we will add the tomatoes and the spinach and salt. The reason you add salt at the end when you're cooking any type of lagoon, not lagoons or beans, that type of thing, like gabanzos, um, pinto beans, you add the salt at last because it will inhibit them from cooking as good as you would want. Okay? All right, we're going to put this back on the fire and let it cook. Now for the final preparation of our soup. We have cooked it. The lentils are nice and cooked. Now we're going to add the tomatoes. And you might want to kind of dump them into the spoon so you don't get burnt. You always want to watch that you don't burn yourself because it's no fun recovering from a burn. And one of the very worst burns you can get is a steam burn. Oil burns are very bad, but steam burns are terrible. All right, then we're going to put our spinach in it. This is frozen spinach. Now this is so easy to make. It just, you just have to do it by steps. And it is super delicious and super nutritious. And we're going to cook it for like 10 more minutes. Make sure everything's good and done. And then you will take the bay leaves out. You want to make sure you take the bay leaves out. Now we're going to add salt for our last 10 minutes. And I'm adding a teaspoon and a little over half. Then what you always want to do is taste your food before you serve it. And you might say, well, I really don't want to get my digestion going. You can, uh, the way we used to do it when I worked at a um, vegan restaurant, we would um, taste the food and then we would spit it out and rinse our mouths so we had not started our digestion because we had a lot of food to taste. But as every good chef will tell you, you need to taste the food. All right, and then we're going to put it back on the oven and cook it for 10 minutes. Then we're going to serve it, delicious and nutritious. Have a good day.